Welcome back to the Citizen Channel and our preview of the upcoming semi-final of the Champions League. Hey, let's, uh, two games away from a, another another trip to a final. Let's uh, hope we can get through this one a bit better than we did last season, but we'll talk about that anyway as we look through this preview of Real Madrid, of course, against Manchester City, Tuesday the 9th of May 2023 at the Santiago Bernabeu, is it? That's how you pronounce it. It used to be the Bernabeu in my days. Bernabeu, I think a little little thing over the years, isn't there, which uh, I've got on the thumbnail, although uh, it, I can't find it on my typewriter. A typewriter, well, whatever this keyboard, that's it, keyboard. I'm so old, guys, I'm so old. So we'll have a look at that today. Please, if you are new to the channel, push that subscribe button, push the bell notifications, everything city past, present, like this one, and forever, of course. And if you are pushing buttons, you can press that little like button. I'm trying to get about 20 likes. So you can just hit that now and, uh, and hopefully enjoy. And I try and inform and entertain. It's not all about me. It's about giving you some information on, on football in general, on City and our, our opponents, etc., etc. I'll, I'll add my two penny worth, of course I will. But I, I try and inform as well as uh, obviously spout off my own little stuff. So uh, hopefully you enjoy it anyway. This is on BT Sport 1 and BT Sport Ultimate. Our overall record, yes, we've now played them eight times. We've won three, drawn two and lost three. So straight down the middle. Unfortunately, we've lost the games at crucial parts, uh, probably crucial games to them more than, more than not. They scored 13 and we've scored 12. So they are ahead of us. So we've got to uh, redress that balance. Previously, of course, it was a disappointing. I will read you out the match excerpt in a minute, my little match uh, report. Uh, it's not great reading. Uh, I wasn't in a very good mood at the time of writing it, but you'll, you'll be able to tell from what I read out to you. But, of course, it was the 4th of May 2022, so literally 12 months ago, as we lost after extra time, of course, in the Bernabeu 3-1. Uh, our team that day, of course, had Edison, Cancelo, Diaz, Laporte, Walker, Rodri, KDB, Bernardo, Foden, Jesus, and Mares. And this is a little excerpt. And my first comment on my little script that I wrote was, I can't face doing a full one, guys. So, so this is an abridged version. I would normally, if you watch my talking points show now, or it was called Match Report last time, I think, when I was doing this, uh, a little minute-by-minute minute blow of key events. But uh, this one starts in the 73rd minute. <laughs> and Mares scores after work from Bernardo. That's all I simply said. You know, I would have probably waxed lyrical if it had been, or a part of a, a wonderful victory but uh, obviously not and then I went on to say this is the rest of the excerpt I'll read out to you all went so well, no backs to the wall. Perhaps that caused us to relax. We should be taking the ball into corners and welling it out and falling over from the 85th minute onwards. But we still tried to play football and suffered for it part quality. Uh, and obviously from an average Madrid for 89 minutes, all of a sudden they turned into Super Madrid. And part lacking that bit of backs to the wall mentality I was just talking about as we didn't bust a gut and seemingly... Uh, didn't bust a gut to recover in defensive situations. We didn't seem to have, have an urge to get suddenly get men back behind the ball. Therefore, 90 minutes, a fresh Rodrigo who'd come on as substitute was alert and it's 1-1. 91 minutes, Rodrigo again heads home superbly. We didn't, he didn't even have time to try and put our foot on the ball, I say. Very true. After that, not quite sure we believed. And Diaz again slowly poking a foot out, gives away a penalty, quite rightly, in the first half of extra time. Benzema and City's dreams as Real Madrid play out extra time, but City were down. Not good. A decent team wins this by hook or by crook. We were just lulled into a false sense of security. I think we were. Key stats from the night. Real Madrid, 14 shots, 5 on target. City, 15 shots, 10 on targets. Possession, 56% for City. Pass completion rate, 80% Real Madrid, 83% for us. So, who's in charge of this one? Let's get back to this one now. Let's, 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 put, that, let's put that behind us. Let's put that behind us. Let's carry on regardless. It's very disappointing, of course it was. Who's in charge? Well, we've got Mr. Arta Diaz from Portugal. And I'll take charge of this game. Uh, this is his second time he's refed us this season because he was in the old FC Copenhagen game where we drew 0-0 away from home. And, of course, the 43-year-old, that's how old he is, sent off Sergio Gomez. Probably quite rightly by the rules of the law. He issued a straight card for denying a clear goal-scoring opportunity. And, of course, we had, did have a, a Rodri screamer disallowed for handball via, via VAR. Yeah, people tend to forget that one. Uh, Diaz also awarded a spot kick for us though uh, prior to this sending off which was 
of course, missed by Riyad Mahrez, hence the nil-nil scoreline. It didn't really matter in the end, did it? In total, he's shown us two yellows and one red. The other two games he's involved with City were back in uh, 2019 on the 18th of September, Shakhtar nil City 3. And the other one was back in 2021, 24th of February 2021, Munching Gladbach get uh, nil City 2. His lineholes are Paul Suarez from Portugal and Pedro Ribeiro from Portugal. The fourth official is Daniel Orsato from Italy. Uh, video assistant referee is Massimiliano Iratti, the guy who, of course, uh, didn't get his angles right for the Lorenzi handball against us in the Champions League, if he can go that go far that far back, so that doesn't bode too well, does it? Assistant VAR, we've got Tiago Martins from Portugal. Right, well, how are they doing? Well, interesting, Carlo Ancelotti's uh, team. They're doing very well. They've just won a cup, uh, so that's not too bad. But with Barcelona, of course, on the verge of lifting the title, the game's to spare. Uh, Real sit third, 14 points behind him, and just one point behind second place, Atletico Madrid, their arch neighbours, of course. Uh, the league form, uh, certainly recently, has been up and down over the last eight games. They've won four and lost four including a couple of games ago, a defeat against David Silva's Real Sociedad, of course. But last time out, as I said, they just won the, the Copa del Rey final. Although far from convincing, it's quite an open contest, that game, but they beat Osa, Osasuna uh, 2-1 in that. So all's good, all's good. They put a strong team out as well, as you'd expect in, in a cup final. So as far as the cup competitions, they're uh, looking more consistent. They say they've done excellent in the Champions League up to now, but we can take heart at least from the fact that a poor Chelsea did cause them a few problems, certainly at the bridge. Not, not so much at their place, but certainly at the bridge. They, uh, they had them worried for a little while, which, uh, as I say, they're not the greatest team in the world at the moment, Chelsea, are they? Uh, current top scorers and assisters, quite impressive. Benzema, 22 goals, 5 assists. Vincius Jr., 19 goals, 15 assists. Rodrigo, okay, the guy who scored again, obviously a couple against us, 12 goals, 10 assists. Valverde, 12 goals, 6 assists. Asensio, 11 goals, 7 assists. Uh, for this one, uh, Mendy's missing. He won't be playing for this one. While Edda Militio, Militeo, is it? Is suspended. And that thug, and I'll call him a thug because he is a thug, Rudiger, uh, probably be partnered by Alaba in central defence for this one. Cruz and Modric, of course, will anchor the midfield behind a supposed front three of Benzema, Vinicius Jr. and possibly Valverde. Madrid won't mind starting this as the underdogs, which they certainly are, as far as the bookmakers are concerned, uh, by a lot of pundits outside of Spain as well. Uh, but this is a, a, a battle worthy of a final itself, of course. It is, despite the obvious lack of parity as far as winning the Cup's concerned. Uh, I think we've won 14 between us, haven't we, uh, in the Champions League uh, titles. But City have to start somewhere, so why, why not? Why not finally this season, uh, after the debacle of last season? Which, of course... Brings us on to us. What are we going to do? We're in pretty good fettle on paper. I think we're pretty good fettle. I think we've got a bit of momentum. Um, look, I, I can imagine there's going to be at least five changes to the team that beat Leeds United, started against Leeds. We still have momentum, which is good. And we're seemingly playing well within ourselves with, with the fact that the last couple of games perhaps we have had on, on one eye on this. And no matter how much Pep goes on about we play one game at a time, etc., or the usual diatribe, uh, we're bound to have our thoughts thoughts on this one the players are bound to have this at the back of their minds and i think the, the benefit is of course being away at ho away from home for the first leg as long as you keep things tight it's going to be nervy anyway and you know as long as you're in it for the second leg and you come back to your own patch uh, you've got a very very good chances of course real madrid did last year in the semi-final is this side better than what we had last season against them. Are they better? I wouldn't particularly think so. Is our side better? Possibly, yes. I wouldn't say player for player uh, it was any worse squad-wise than what we had last year, but we're playing well. We've we've hit it at the right time. Last year at this time, towards the semi-finals, we stuttered just a little bit. Uh, we're in full swing at the moment. So clearly, uh, hopefully we don't throw this away. And we're clearly, last season, we were the better team in both legs. But we did throw it away. Simple as that. Uh, you know, we, we should have won. We won the first game. We should have won it by more. And we ended up losing it at the second game, which in theory 
was ours to win as well. So, but as I said, psychologically, mentally, physically, we're okay. The only doubt, of course, as far as I can see, is Aki uh, for this game, which is a bit of a blow. But hey, as I said, we've got a, a squad that Pets proved he can move players around and adapt to any sort of situation, even losing uh, Aki, who, let's face it, has been one of our better players this season. I'm more than happy to be at home in the second leg with a fully fit squad. We've got to be confident, hopeful of revenge against, uh, let's face it, and at that time, yes, they have been brittle. And it's, it's it's easy saying, oh, yes, they can do it for this, they can do it for that. But sometimes when, you, when you're sort of losing games and you've not, not, not got that momentum, it is difficult. Um, the only thing with Real Madrid, of course, this competition, uh, they seem to go up a little gear. But, hey, they, you know, they don't win it every season. So so why why is it guaranteed they're going to win it this season? They've only won it 14 times. You know, it's not a lot, is it? And of course, we'll have to be at it. We'll have to, Mr. Harlan will have to be at it for one thing. Of course, all the players will to some extent, but uh, we need to take chances as and when they occur, uh, which is a little bit of a worry. When, uh, but having said that, once once Harlan's had a bad game, he usually follows up with an okay one. So, on the fact he couldn't hit a cow's bum with a banjo against Leeds United, he should be in for something for this one. So let's have a look. Let's have a look at what I think that the eleven will be. Let's have a look at what we might, the team might be. Let me know what you think, guys. Uh, Leeds on the bench, I think, will definitely start for this. Of course, uh, started on the bench as Diaz, Stones, Grealish, Rodri and Bernardo. I'd imagine all those players will play on the bench. That might be a possible. I've not included Walker in that, but certainly feasible that Walker will come in. Certainly now we've got the injuries to Aki. If Aki's playing... I think Walker might miss out, but if Aki's, if Aki's unavailable, I think it makes a, a Walker coming into this very, very likely. Those that started against Leeds, that'll start against Madrid, well, you've got to, you've got to go Edison, you've got to go Akanji, KDB, Haaland. And yes, um, I wasn't perhaps overly convinced, but the game Gundo had uh, the other night against Leeds United, uh, I think he's, he's well well into the reckoning so this is what we may end up with and i'm looking back as well as what pep did against bayern munich just uh, uh not too long ago was it with that team so this is this is the 11 i'm going with let me know what you think guys this is my starting 11 as i say allowing for the fact that everyone's fit apart from aki if aki if aki's in i think aki will come into this team and uh walker who i'm going to name in it will uh, probably step down so we've got edison Walker, Stones, Diaz and Akanji. Of course, there's a potential for Laporte. If if Pep is confident Akanji can play that left-back role again, which he played so superbly, of course, against Arsenal, then I don't think he will. But there's an option of Laporte, of course, who again didn't let us down against Leeds either. So Edison, Walker, Stones, Diaz and Akanji. Rodri, KDB and Gundo. I said some Gundo comes into this. And up front, I think Bernardo. I don't think Foden's going to get a go in this one. So Bernardo, Haaland and Grealish. So basically that's, uh, if you look at the Bayern Munich, both legs of the Bayern Munich game, that's very much the team that was picked uh, without Aki. Uh, so I said with the Kanji as a left-back option, perhaps Laporte, if, otherwise if Pep isn't confident in that sort of uh, that sort of team. Well, there you go, guys. Let me know what you think. Be great to hear your starting eleven uh, Predictions, yeah, Andy Morrison. Uh, interesting one, yeah. He's, I've just looked ahead to the second leg. He's predicted a 2-1 win for us in this one and then a 1-1 draw at the Etihad. So I'll go the other way. I'll go 1-1 for this one. Andy Morrison's going 2-1 for City. I'll go 1-1. I'll be set, I'll be well chuffed with 2-1. I'll be all, bringing a lead back to our place, of course I will. But uh, I'll just switch that on its head a little bit. So Andy Morrison's 2-1, I'm 1-1. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. Let me know your score predictions as well. And yeah, just finally, we'll have a quick look at some of the, some of the bookies. Us, please, you don't go and condone gambling. And when the fun stops, stop. City to win the Champions League are now four to six on. Real Madrid are seven to two. Inter Milan are thirteen to two, and AC Milan are seventeen to two. The match odds themselves, yes, yeah, City are still a favourites, even though it's at the Bernabeu. Uh, City twenty three to twenty. The draws thirteen to five. Madrid are twenty one to ten. First goal scorers, well, for City, Haaland's threes, not generous. Bernardo's 14 to 1, KDB's 11. Looking at the Real Madrid guys, Benzema's 5 to 1, Vinicius Jr. 17 to 2, Rodrigo's 10 to 1. Anytime goal scorer, yeah, Vinicius Jr. for them, 11 to 4, it's okay. And a good one for us, as always. You can always get a reasonable price on KDB. You can get 4 to 1 on KDB, anytime goal scorer. Correct scores, Andy Morrison's 2 1 is 8 to 1, my 1 1 is 6 to 1. 
Yeah, last year, of course, in 90 minutes, it was 2 1 to them. That's 10 to 1. A 0 0. I fancy a draw. A 0 0 draws 14s. A 2 2 draw is 12s. Half time, full time. Draw in the City to win. Draw half time, City to win full time is 9 to 2. A draw half time, Madrid to win full time is 7 to 1. A draw on a draw is 5 to 1. City, City's 5 to 2. Uh, Madrid, Madrid's 9 to 2. And goals over under. Over two and a half goals is four to six on. Three goals in this game. Yeah, I mean, it could be cagey. Could end up being a nil-nil, but that's not a bad price. Under two and a half, 23 to 20 odds again. So you do think it's going to be cagey. That's okay. Both teams to score, yes, is four to seven on. Can't agree. I can't disagree with that too much. And no, is 29 to 20 against. Winning margin. To finish off, City one goal winning margin is three to one. A City two goal winning margin is 11 to two. I can't see either team winning by more than two goals. Madrid, one goal winning margin is four to one. Two goals is nine to one. So there you go. Just a few prices. Uh, not any fantastic in depth. They're all average prices. Of course, you might be able to get some better prices if you shop around. And there you go. Let me know what you fancy, guys. Let me know what you're going to have a go on. Let me know all your thoughts on the team and. Uh, of course, the lineups and anything, anything different to what I thought or your thoughts on Real Madrid. Let me let, let me know. Perhaps you're a Real Madrid, but if I let me know certain things that uh, you're happy about, that I, I'm say I don't, I can't pretend to be in depth on on Real Madrid. But uh, let me know. Let me know what you think. I'll be back, of course, with the ratings and talking points show both on Wednesday. So I'll try and get the ratings show out Wednesday morning or towards lunchtime because I'll be in work sadly Wednesday morning and the talking point show will follow Wednesday afternoon Wednesday tea time something like that and coming soon of course we'll be having a look forward to the game against Everton I think it's Sunday is it Sunday two o'clock I'm not sure I've not looked at it yet I've one game at a time that's what we do one game at a time anyway join me for those It'll be great to hear from you please uh, leave us your comments and as I said please spread the word guys thanks, thanks for watching until we meet again that's one thing don't I Please stay safe, Blues. Flipping, come on, City. Let's let's do it. Come on, boys. Come on, City. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.